So today I think we should uh, look super calm. We're supposed to be calm for the next couple of days. Um, maybe make our way to that one place that has the uh, all the buoys, and I think we can hike or run on the shore there. Yeah, that would be my ideal. I need to get a run in, or would love to get a run in because I haven't uh, run for many days. But we haven't been on the boat for two years, so. Yeah. I but think it's going to be windy, right, coming up, and so if we go over there. Are not we... until Friday. Okay. So no wind from what I can see. Uh... That's the uh, St. Lucia Islands over there, I think, right? So, look how many boats are in there. I don't know if you can see them. Let me zoom in on it. Might be hard to see. Try and go to sh try and go to Shallow Bay, which uh, is only about a like two feet of water. So we'll see if we can get in there. These are all the boats here in this little bay that are on mooring balls and secured that way. We're gonna tuck in here and anchor potentially. So we have so your choices is to go here or which a lot more boats here or back to uh I think that was Fox Bay or whatever down in there. We can tuck by ourselves. Okay. More boats than I thought here. <laughs> yeah. So maybe this is the spot we anchor for tonight. Um, we are at high tide right now at seven feet and we are going to low tide at negative one. So we may be touching bottom, we'll see. We're at uh, about nine feet now. So maybe we have a foot of water when we go to, uh, to um, low tide, but we'll see. A lot more big boats in here than I expected because this is called Shallow Bay, but um, there's mooring balls out there and uh, it's probably not too shallow. We can tuck in to these little spots that other boats can't get into, so we should be fine. And we have a flat bottom, so worst case is we go to the bottom uh, at low tide and we put the motors up, which we always do anyway, and we will be uh, sitting on the bottom, but um, hopefully not. The gas in or is it full? Nice. First time anything started on <laughs> one pull and no issues. Probably a 40, uh, 45 foot maybe. This one over here is uh, also, I believe, an Arctic tug. We had a similar boat, it was a sundowner. Um, but basically the same looking boat there. 32 foot is what we had. I'm not sure if that one is or not. It looks a little bigger. So when we were in the Blaine uh, Marina, there was a the big, huge ship uh, right behind us that was a fishing um, vessel that goes to Alaska every year. He, he has been fishing for 47 years in Alaska. The Bering Sea, he was a captain, he still is, I mean, he owns that boat. Anyway, he was talking about our boat and how he would take it anywhere, and he loved it and uh, thought it was super seaworthy. So that was a very good thing. We, we know we've owned it for 13 years, it's been great, but, you know, and we took it up the Inside Passage to Alaska, so we know it's seaworthy, but we never go out in much uh, weather um, just because the boat is much more seaworthy than us. So it's a... Uh, it's just good to know it was a good confidence coming from somebody that has as much experience as that gentleman did.